everybody. Hey guys, what's up? It is Gamma Mickey and I am back on our YouTube channel. I know I've been gone for a while, but we're back to doing some regular vlogging. I'm going to try and post up a video every day, whether it's a highlight from one of our old vlogs or if it's something specific like um, a how-to or some of my favorite suggestions or, you know, just a regular old vlog. <laughs> So today I am going to recap some of the stuff that has been going on in our personal lives and get you guys up to speed as to what is going on for us in 2024. Of course, we had a great Christmas break. Um, we got to watch Aubrey at her dance recital. Hey guys, what's up? And I am here at Seaman High School because Aubrey is performing with her No Boundaries dance crew in their showcase and I'm late. <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna head inside and go watch some dancing. Let's do this. I wanted something upbeat and, for, and fun for the dancers to really get into with their personalities. When choreographing this dance, I wanted to challenge them both with the steps and the rhythms that are created. <laughs> loved her in the tap routine. Fire! So good, so good. Uh, all the other kids did amazing too. It was a good show. Uh, got me pumped for when we do our showcase that we're going to do in studio at No Boundaries. So good job everybody. It was awesome to see her perform and spend some time with the family. And I got to hang out with my niece, I guess she's like my second cousin, but I call her my niece. She lived with us for a while when she was a teenager. Now she's a mommy herself. This is Tabby and her beautiful daughter, Jersey, and they are going to be going with us on our next magical adventure. So I cannot wait to share all of that with you guys. Then of course there was the actual Christmas itself, opening up gifts, having fun. All right, girlfriend. Start to music. Officially Christmas Eve lineup. <gasps> That's because she needs to put those on. Right now. Well, open your other one first. Open your other one. I'm scared. And then we have to. This is from all you three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it's something fun. Do you, hold on. Do you want to guess what it is? She's been trying to guess all day. Oh. Yeah. I'm scared. 
Oh, that's such a good oh, game. Oh, I can see it right there. You're lucky. Oh, it's the giant cards for Papa because he's blind. <laughs> $12? Why is there a price tag? I don't know. Let's see how big the cards are. No, no one doesn't either. It's, it's the special anniversary of them. It was, a, it was a lot harder than what we had realized, but I completely turned off all of our social media as far as me vlogging or posting anything um, because I just needed to heal <laughs> and that's what this holiday season was for our family we did a lot of healing and but we also had a lot of fun too we got to dress up in matching pajamas on christmas eve it was a lot of fun and then the next day courtney and her husband came down and uh, we had some wonderful christmas traditional left stuff for dinner and then we also got to open up some more presents and get to start to celebrate about her being a brand new mommy. So I cannot wait um, to share that whole experience of me being a another grandma. And this one is gonna be with my grand buddy because I'm having a grandson. Like how cool is this? <laughs> and uh, he'll be going with us on our next magical adventure as well. <laughs> So this is gonna be a lot of fun for our family and uh, I can't wait to tell you what we got coming up. So you're probably wondering, what is this crazy magical family gonna be doing in 2024? Well, we have a new baby coming, as I had just said, with uh, Courtney is having her first child. And um, so that kind of puts a damper on my traditional May trip that I had been doing for the past couple years. Um, in honor of my dad and, you know, living life to its fullest and living life with no regrets as he had told me to do. And what I started doing every May was going on the anniversary of his passing around Mother's Day, um, for a Disney World vacation. Unfortunately, this year we are not going to be able to do that. So we have a couple other trips <laughs> in mind. Um, and one of them is I have to go back and pick up my mom and I think I might be taking Aubrey with me and maybe Madeline. And if we go back to pick up my mom before spring, then we will definitely be hitting Disneyland because Aubrey's never been to Disneyland. She's never been to the West coast. She's never seen the ocean. So we figured this might be a really fun experience for me and Aubrey and Madeline to take. And I know it's crazy because it's right during the heart of our dance competition season, but my mom does want to get back here to Kansas before spring and she does not want to drive across country by herself. And I really don't want to have to drive all the way by myself. So I would be bringing Madeline along to help me with some of the driving. Um, and we'll experience that all together. Now, what are some of my other things that we have coming up? Well, we have our big end of 2024 um, family vacation and it is in the works. I'm not gonna give any specific dates, but uh, it will be sometime in fall, late fall. And just so that gives Courtney and her husband a little more time with the new baby um, and um, get that baby to be a little bit older before we take him back to Walt Disney World. Yes, more than likely we'll be getting the two bedroom contemporary villa again, um, but it'll be fun to see the reaction of Tabby and her family and um, Courtney's husband, Luke, he's never seen um, Disney World, he's never been to Disney World, he's never been to any of the parks or any of that kind of stuff. So it'll be fun watching the experience through people who have never gone before and sharing our magic and our love of it with them. Um, yeah, so that is our plans for 2024. Now my other plans, and these are my hopes and wishes for the years to come. So my goal is that when I go down there in the fall, I'm going to purchase at least I hope I will. I'm going to be purchasing an annual pass. <laughs> 
And the reason why I want to purchase an annual pass is because I want to go to the parks more often. And I got to do that solo trip at Disneyland and that was really good tester for me because it was a place that I had been to before growing up as a kid. So I was comfortable with it. I felt safe there. But I really, really want to try and do some more solo trips on my own. Like there's a couple challenges that I want to do. I've watched quite a few vloggers on YouTube that I'm like, oh, I want to try that where they spend half the day at a Walt Disney World, like Magic Kingdom, and then they fly to the West Coast and go to Disneyland and go in the Magic Kingdom there. <laughs> the remaining half of the day. Like that's a West East Coast, West Coast challenge. Oh my God, I so want to try that. <laughs> and um, I really would like to be able to go to every festival in 2025. I also would like to have another goal. I don't know if I can pull this off guys. I'm really trying. So I started this whole new 30 day on my TikTok. You can go check out my TikTok channel. I try, I'm trying this whole new 30 day no pop challenge. So I have been drinking water for the last week and I'm pretty proud of myself. I have not had pop at all during this whole week. Now, I don't know if I've lost any weight. My goal is to lose weight because I'm tired of being in pain when I walk through the parks. So my weight is definitely an issue and I need to lose at least a hundred pounds for me to be able to enjoy my time in the parks, especially if I want to get an annual pass and go more often. So after my 30 day water challenge, we're gonna see where I am on my weight. If I've actually lost weight, then I'm going to try dieting for real, like take on a serious diet, maybe even try some other methods of trying to lose weight and uh, reach that goal so that in 2025, I don't have to use a scooter anymore. <laughs> and one of those goals would be to do a Disney run. Now, would I run? Probably not. But if I could walk a Disney run and not have to use a scooter and still be able to go to the parks, that would be huge for me and huge for my health. So we're taking it one little step at a time. I am trying to turn over a whole new leaf in my life. Um, and the pop thing is a big one. So we're moving slowly, but we're doing it well. And if you would like to follow me on that journey, please go check out my TikTok and uh, we can do it together. So those are like my own personal goals. Now here's some of my other goals that me and the family have decided to do together. These are my Disney bucket list dreams to do in the next five years. So these are my five year goal plans that I am able to stay at every resort at Disney World. I want to stay on every at least one night in every Disney World resort hotel room um, and checking that out and getting to experience it and then that way I can give you an honest like my top 10 overalls or my favorite moderates or my favorite values. I have not gotten to do that and um, so that means I do need to go experience a value resort stay and I do need to experience another moderate one other than my favorite place. I can't just keep going to Port Orleans. I'm gonna have to try some of the other ones. And then of course with Deluxe, I love Deluxe level and that's why we ended up buying in DVC. And that's the other thing, I would love to stay in every DVC resort property that I can. And uh, which is Deluxe level anyway. Eh, <clears throat> all of these goals I have for that. Now the other goal is that I wanna be able to go to every Disney World party that they have, the Christmas party, the Halloween party, um, any of those festivals that are going on at Epcot, things like that. Um, then the other goal is I wanna do that East Coast, West Coast challenge where I can actually go to both parks in one day. <laughs> I cannot do that on the financial budget that I have right now. But if I take this serious and I take my TikTok serious, maybe I could afford to do things like that. Um, then the other goal is I really want to go to International Disney. 
<laughs> like I really want to go to Disney Paris and I want to go to Tokyo Disney or any of those other Disney parks that are not in the United States. And then my last goal, which I think I can accomplish in 2025. This is my dream goal. I have been watching a ton of vlogs for the past two years about it. Nobody else in my family wants to do it, but I want to do it really badly is I really want to go on a Disney cruise. <laughs> I've never done a Disney cruise. I really want to, it looks amazing. But again, that's something that I, I need to lose weight for because there's no way I'm gonna be able to walk around um, that entire ship in the condition that my body's in right now. So I'm gonna have to lose some weight and get my body back in healthy order. So maybe I do the Disney run in 2025 and then that's my goal i've accomplished that and then my reward would be doing a disney cruise <laughs> i know the world is crazy i know that it's hard to get out of the funks especially when we're all dealing with so much financially and there's been so much drama over the last i'd say four or five years in this country i know it's hard i know it's hard to get out of those funks but I'm hoping that my channel can be something that, if anything, can give you a break <laughs> from all of the craziness and just enjoy what we love most about Disney. Now, there's a lot of people that have boycotted Disney over all of the political drama and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, say Disney's evil and this and that. Look. It is what you make of it. It is that way in anything you do in life. You cannot just like sugarcoat over something and just say, well, I'm done with it. That's it. Um, in our family, we have a very, it's a military thing. And we grew up in a military home and we do things that are not easy ever. Everything is always done the hard way is what we call it. Or we like to say the friendly way. <laughs> But we have a motto that we use. How do you adapt, improvise, and overcome? And uh, when life throws you a curve. And so that's how we feel about our love of Disney. And um, I will never stop loving going to the parks. And I will never stop loving Walt's original vision and Walt's origin original dream. And what that means to me and what it means to my family. So if you enjoy Disney like I do, and you want to experience that magic together, that's what I want this YouTube channel to be, and from this point on into the future. So I hope you join me for our magical journey together over the next couple of years, and oh my gosh, <laughs> there's so much opportunities to really have some fun together. So um, like I said, lots of goals, lots of dreams, and I'm just speaking it into existence that that is my vision board for 2024 and beyond of what I want to do. And I would love for you guys to be a part of that magic with me. So that's it for today's vlog. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <music>